you know, let's say you want to do a voiceover or uh, do some ADR work for a video that you have and you want to do that directly in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to show you how to add an audio track that you can use for ADR and this is adding it using a external or plug-in microphone. By default, if you plug your microphone into your computer, it will not recognize it and you need to tell it to do that. So I have my video already opened and ready to be done here in DaVinci Resolve. And you can add a track, and I'm just gonna go add stereo. Note, you can also do that from the far light panel, which is the one that we're actually gonna be in. So same thing, you can just go right click, add, and add track. So audio two is the one that I'm gonna be recording my sound into. But notice nothing's happening here, even though I'm talking into the microphone right now, we should be seeing those levels. So what you wanna do is take that track that you're doing your voiceover on, and which is gonna be over here in your mixer. Sometimes you might need to pull this out if you've got like three or four, it'll actually um, line them up, but it won't pull that out automatically. So I'm in A2, I wanna to go to where it says no input, and select input. So now I know I've got audio left and right. What I want to do here is select this microphone one. Hopefully it's selectable. So this is the one that I'm actually recording audio on right now, my USB mic. Notice the rest are grayed out. When you plug it in, it should recognize it. Sometimes I've found that you might need to do it a couple times, or you might need to play around with some of your settings in order to get it to work. Now the next thing you need to do is when you've got that selected along with the the audio track the audio left and right you want to click this little patch down here and they should kind of highlight that they just did there now I can close that and now when we jump back in here if I go record and you can see now the levels are moving along with my voice so I know that any audio recordings that I'm going to do will be recorded and to record you simply hit this little record option down here and now it's going to start recording and you can see that the recording levels are going on. It's also what it's going to do is it's going to play the video in the upper right corner here. So I'm going to stop it. I'm going to skip ahead to where something's happening on the video. So notice now we've got movement on the video and let's say I wanted to narrate this. I just hit record and I'm clicking something that's causing something to go up on the screen and I'm linking the audio, video clips, etc, etc. Stop. You can move this around if you need to, which is nice. So maybe I waited too long before I started speaking. And you can also go back into your edit panel and make any other adjustments that you might want to make to it. So here it is. Let's say maybe I want to increase the volume on it or I want to shorten the clip or do any other edits. So you can do all of that. And of course you can do that in the fusion panel as well. When you're done, just hit the stop. The reason why I had this muted, in case you're wondering, is if it's not muted, that audio would be playing at the same time that you're recording into the microphone. So it would actually pick up that audio as the background. So it's a good idea to mute that before you hit record. And that's it. It's um, the first couple times you do it, it's kind of confusing because you've got all these other options that you think you should select. But really, as long as you're as long as DaVinci Resolve is recognizing that USB mic that you have plugged in, it, you should be able to grab it and connect it. If you want to then unpatch it because you're going to say maybe use a different microphone, you can just grab them both, go unpatch, it'll unlink them, and then you can grab that and connect it to a different mic that maybe you have it plugged in in a different panel. And that's it. One more piece of advice is you pretty much have to do this every time. It doesn't stay that way by default. So if I'm going in and we're doing voiceover for another video later on, I'm going to need to add an audio track and I'm going to need to connect those. Hope you found that useful. Thanks and have a nice day.